Hello, and welcome to 8020's product highlight series. Today, we're going to take a look at unibearings. These components are great for adding motion to any project, even when the profile is captivated. They're easy to install, come in a variety of styles, and are customizable. They're available in both fractional and metric systems, and compatible across a wide range of profile series. Keep in mind that 8020 bearings are designed for compression loads only, and not intended to support hanging loads. Unibearings come pre-assembled with extra shims and are available in both single and double style. The single bearing is commonly used in applications with one guide rail, while the double bearing is typically coupled with two guide rails. One thing to keep in mind when you're using unibearings is that additional standalone bearing pads may be needed for optimal performance. More information on standalone bearing pads and unibearings can be found in the 8020 product catalog. Now when it comes to installing the unibearing, we've already got one installed on our profile, along with two standalone bearing pads. Now these are all going to install the same way. You'll loosen up your pre-assembled T-nuts, just like that, and then you'll slide them into the open T-slot. We'll get those right where we want them. Then we'll take our wrench, and we'll start tightening everything down. Now once we have all that tightened down, we can take our profile and we can put our project into motion. Now one other thing we may want to consider is a brake. Our brake kits come in several different styles and they help lock your bearing into place. So if you decide to use a brake, you'll take your unibearing, you'll feed the bolt from the inside out, you'll put the washer on the outside and thread on the handle. From there, you'll slide it onto your profile and tighten it down with the handle. 